this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be making some bloom coasters tonight. Um, and this time, since I haven't done it in a while, I'm going to be using my um, cell activator that I made from the pigments. The color was the Be Mine from the Putting on the Glitz collection. And this is the one that I had on video number 11 that, um, that I used the Golden Extra Heavy Gloss Gel or Gel Gloss Medium with it that I thinned down and I added some Floetrol to it. But it makes some great cells. So what I'm gonna be doing is um, these Home Depot, um, they're already soft on the bottom so I don't have to worry about putting a cork on the bottom because it makes they make great coasters when I resin them. And I'm going to put, I'm going to do the Beetleback Interference Sparkle um, color palette that I got from Mandy from Hope Designs and Mandy's been doing a lot to help my channel out so thank you Mandy for doing so and all those who also supported me like um, Garrett Brown who's helped me out and Erica Hughes. So, so for now I'm going to start making these coasters. So let's put the first one down. The, let me get a little close up. Okay, that's good. Now, per usual, I got my Glidden Essentials um, semi-gloss with a little bit of water as my pillow. Nothing else, no Gak 800 or nothing like that, just the paint and the water. It gives me just enough, gives me enough flow that I need to be able to blow it out. So, I'll start with a little bit of black. All the colors are mixed with two parts untinted deep base or base C or base three house paint with one part of um, either polychloric varnish you can, if you can find it. But lately I've been using the Varathane water-based triple thick polyurethane, which works great too. So this is the, that was black I put on first. This is, um, the blue interference with green sparkle. And this is, my God, I have your labels. Violet interference with blue sparkle. And this one, is green interference with violet sparkle. We almost copied this one exact. Only difference is that I'm using my, instead of a white cell activator, I'm using the pigment of the Be Mine. A little tiny bit of black, not much, just to get a border to the cell activator itself. Then we'll put the cell activator right on top of that and give it a blow. Collect for a second.
what's cool about the interference colors, you don't see it right away, um, the shimmer. But when you um, shine the light on it, you can do so while it's still wet. Um, it makes a nice multicolored shimmer. Some parts could be blue, some parts could be green. But you wouldn't tell until you're able to until you're able to shine a light on it. So it really comes up once it's resin as a nice coaster. So this is coaster number one. Let me spin it out. Put you in the center. And like I said before, when I'm doing coasters and not canvases because it's so small, I will start off with a fast spin. the edge which I was looking for so I'm gonna pop that up put it on my grind table but I'm gonna show you um, what this cell activator had done after I spun it out Ooh, look at that you can see the interference colors shifting as well a little bit but once it gets resin, you can really see it. All right, so it's close to number one. Now, to do close to number two. Put you down. And again, with the pillow paint. Definitely got to put enough pillow on here. Interference colors again. We got my little black water. Notice, I don't feel I necessarily have to blow all the way out to the edge to where you destroy this border. It's not necessary. That'll spin off anyway. But you just blow some and start to make some cells, and then you can relax. And all the all of a sudden, all the cells and the lacing and all that starts to develop starts to develop as uh, the paint starts to collect in the middle. Sometimes you get a little mush mouth. <laughs> it's funny. This one turned out really well too. I hate to lose a lot of that, but it'll stretch out. Now 
that's number two. Sorry for the snort, folks. I get that every once in a while. I don't know why it happens. But I'm hearing y'all. Surprise, surprise. I am hearing. Contrary to popular belief. Those who find me dry and possibly a bit boring, I apologize in advance. Look at those cells. Yes, I'm loving that too. Okay, now I'm going to do the third one. Pop it on there. Set my Bashed it on my little paper towel so I won't mess up the counter. And go for it. I didn't even need a straw so far, which is good. I'm blowing them out pretty nicely. I'm trying to improve on that part of my pouring. Okay, so there's my pillow. My black book. My black. Black, my black. I'm leaving that there because I don't want to leave that behind. Then I put some more back on there. So, my interference colors. Interference colors, I love you. With your sparkle too. And we have a little tiny bit of black to blur the cell activator. Viola. Make it a little more. Then collect. Now I got a piece of paper towel. Okay, my hands start getting dumped up. Let's spin this baby out. Not a big fan of that. I don't know what happened there. Oh well, I'm not worried about it. If I got 85% of a beautiful, a little, just a little small percentage means nothing. It's almost a, it's almost a bit of negative space. Yep, I can still live with it. Every coast is going to be the same. I just love the way they turn out. Again, it has a little flick of gold in that though, so that's nice. It's not just all black. So I love the way that turned out. Nice lacing. So I'll put you up here. Now, for the last one. Okay. 
hello then the black see sometimes it drizzles like that but it all gets blown out one interference was hanging up the clothes to interference was playing with his nose. Three interference was laughing at them both. And this little black spot told all of them, don't even get close. That's my nursery rhyme for the day. Yeah, I'm being stupid. All right, so there you go. Last one. Let's blow her out. I didn't have to do that, but I just want to take that big old blob of cell activator that was in the middle. Okay. And I'm going to set her in the center. Yeah, this will have paint on the bottom. But the beautiful things about these is that should I decide not to use them as coasters, which I am, or should I decide not to use them as coasters, I will still have some skins I could peel off. And the bottoms, they peel off, they clean up pretty well too, that rubber piece. The paint doesn't stick to them too badly. Many times off camera, I done spun these things because it wasn't center. The thing slid right off of it. But so far in my videos, I hadn't had that problem. It was kind of comical though, to see it fly off. Nothing happened. Most times when it's just centered like this, you don't need to put it on a, uh, tape it down or put it on a little bit of paint to hold it in place. As long as it's in the center, the force is taking it out this way and this way on both sides. So if it's pulling this way, it's also pulling back this way. So it kind of stays where it is. All right. So there you have it, folks. I'm gonna uh, bring this one up. Then I'm uh, Shut the camera off and then get you down for a closer look at all of them. So let me get this one down. And I can't wait to uh, resin these so these interference colors will definitely show up. So there's your last one there. I'm trying not to tilt it too much for it to slide off. I just want you to see all the cell overlacing that was produced by this cell activator that has no Amsterdam paint or any Australian culture art. Okay, folks, you're back at my drying table, and this is what I have. I believe this might be the second one, but I'll just show you all of them. This is one. This is two, and this is the last one I did, and this one has that 
bit of that dark area right there. But I'm okay with that. It's got a little bit of a hint of gold shimmering through it. Like so. So yes, I'm okay with that. But that's all of them all together. And I hope you like it. I will post this on the Facebook page. And thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. And please also look at my Instagram page at Shell Rock Art 67 where you can see the whole gallery of not only my blooms and my other pores, but you'll see as you scroll down further my fruit carvings as well as my wildlife art. So please take care, be safe, and once again I say happy pouring. Bye-bye.